Hi, everybody. Welcome to Mark's Backyard Birds. I get asked frequently, how can I help birds? You know, just me, my little self, what can I do day in and day out to help birds? And I myself, you know, asked that self, myself that very question. And years ago, I was at a presentation about forest fragmentation by renowned ornithologist and college professor, Dr. Scott Robinson. Uh, and at the end of his presentation, that was the first question that, that came from the crowd was, how can we help birds? How can I as individuals help bird? He did not skip a beat. He didn't miss a second. He said, drink shade grown coffee. Well, that surprised me. You know, I think, you know, there's lots of things, you know, you can do. But after his explanation, it made perfect sense. And I'm going to go into that today. I'm going to, uh, again, advocate drinking shade-grown coffee and demanding shade-grown coffee wherever you get your coffee. If you ask for it, uh, then they will, if enough people ask for it, they will, they will carry it. So why shade-grown coffee? Well, some of the most beautiful birds on the planet winter in the tropics. And some of our favorite birds that we see, in this, especially in spring and summer in the nesting season, they leave here starting now, which is now it's in mid-August, uh, and they head to Central and South America. And Dr. Robinson said in his presentation that he had done a lot of his work and he had lo lots of his research uh, in the tropics and has spent a lot of times at different habitats down there. And he said, you would not believe the number of our birds that find refuge in the shade grown coffee plantations throughout that region. So what's the difference between a coffee plantation and a shade grown coffee plantation? Well, this is what a typical coffee plantation looks like. They cut down the rainforest, they plant a gazillion coffee trees and they grow the coffee in the bright, bright sun. Well, obviously that's not very good for birds. Birds, uh, that, that forest provides important habitat, important uh, insects, important fruit, important uh, lots of things for them to survive. And in the winter, they need that. All they're doing is surviving when they're down in that part of the world before they return back here next spring uh, for their nesting cycles. But in the winter, we lose a lot of birds because they can't find habitat because so much of the rainforest has been cut down. So if we can, if we convince people uh, that, that supporting shade-grown coffee plantations, which look more like this, they plant the coffee bean trees in the forest. They don't cut down all the trees. So that's why they're known as shade-grown coffee, because there's a lot less sun that gets to the plants, and it takes longer for those beans to ripen, and that makes them more concentrated, makes them stronger. And we started supporting it several years ago. We brought in Shade Grown Coffee by a company called Birds and Beans, and it has gotten stellar reviews. I, I, the people who uh, buy it, we sell it online, we sell it in the store, and people who buy it love it. It's it, you, you can use a little bit less as far as the beans go because it is so concentrated from being on the, the, the tree longer before the beans are uh, taken. So uh, they're very concentrated coffee beans and the, the coffee is very, very rich. Now, obviously, as a wildlife biologist, I'm, I'm in it for the birds. I, in, in all honesty, I don't drink coffee. So uh, I can't give you a personal uh, recommendation about the taste because I don't drink it, but Carrie certainly can, and a lot of our customers can. So not only just in the store, but whenever you, you, know, you go to your favorite uh, coffee place, if you ask for shade-grown coffee, if you uh, repeatedly do that, then those, uh, those places will start stocking it because that's what the public wants. So for us as bird conservation people, we love our birds and we want to protect them. We want them to still have them a hundred years from now, a thousand years, a million years from now. The, you want things to do things that will ensure their longevity. This scarlet tanager uh, spends his winters down in that part of the country uh, in the tropics. And this, in 
insanely beautiful uh, bay-breasted warbler. So if you want to help these birds and the birds that we love so much, that's the simplest thing you can do. There's lots of other things, but this program is to promote shade-grown coffee. That it, it, it's so important uh, that it, it, for those birds that spend the winter down there and then they come back up here next year, uh, next spring for for nesting. So if you want this one thing you can do, if you're a coffee drinker, ask and demand for and drink shade-grown coffee, and you'll be hoping helping the birds that you love so much. So. Great idea for a program. We always love talking about bird conservation uh, and what we can do to help. So give us a like, give us a share. If you will, if you haven't subscribed already, please do and ring that bell so you'll know when I'm on next. So until then, come on, let's talk birds.